no, what are you talking about? I'm not immediately recording this after the last one, even though I have like a ton of other different types of videos that need to be made. I don't know what you're talking about. Mechanical worm time. This time the jump scare worked, baby. Let's go. Oh, I forgot that like for some reason when he's first spawned, he doesn't take a damage. There we go. Now he's taking some damage. We just don't want to get caught in one of his little loopy loops. Because then we die. Does he not deal contact damage anymore? Wait, hold on a second. Or am I just uh, too good at the game? No, he still does contact damage. But we need to kill little eyeballs because they are the ones that deal the most damage to you. While you're just trying to live your goddamn life. I wish I had like an AoE something that could kill all of them at the same time. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I do have an AoE something that is killing all of them at the same time. But I want more. Anyway, fuck stealth strikes, am I right, fellas? Who needs them? I need them. Hold on. I'm just trying to kill all the small ones, and it's difficult to, like, stealth strike the small ones. Okay, there we go. I think all the small little fuckers are dead. So now we can properly stealth strike these motherfuckers. Oh, I love the sound. I love the sound of damage when I hit him. I don't know why it's not dealing like a big boy damage sound. Oh, that was the one. That was the one. I'm I fucking orgasmed after that one. Okay, well that was significantly easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, destroyer destroyed. I I guess. A machine brought to life by the mighty souls of warriors and built to excavate massive tunnels and planets to gather resources. Could have proven useful if Raiden didn't have an obsession with turning everything into a tool of destruction. Mm. And now our world has been blessed with adamantium and titanium! Shit, let's go! Okay. Uh, we got Soul of Might, we got Wagon Piece, and that's about it. Alright. We go back here. We put the son of a bitch away, we put all of this stuff away, and now we actually go and mine ourselves some adamantium and titanium, and then we go and get ourselves some cryonic ore, and then we become cool, and then everyone will like us at school, and then Susie, Susie will realize what a mistake she's made, and she'll come crawling back to us. But you know what? We're not even going to go back to Susie because she's stinky. We're going to stay with Becky, because Becky treats us right. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think that red... That deep red is something. Hold on. I've forgotten what any of these things look like. I'm going to be real skis with you. Can I uh, get through here, please? Thank you. I think deep red is good. No, that's Orichalcum. Is that the same red as the red down there? Hold on, am I going insane? Okay, so that, that's Palladium, yeah. What is this? Orichalcum. Okay, but what's... This is also Orichalcum? Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, I think my brain is just, uh, not functioning. Or... Hold on. I th ah, there we go. That That's the dark red I, I know and love. For something to be non-functioning, it, it needed to have been functioning in the first place, no? Like, that's... You can't just say something's non-functioning. It's like... If it never functioned in the first place, like, oh yeah, this, uh, my invention is non-functioning. I just got a whoopee cushion. <laughs> okay. My invention is non-functioning, but you leave out the part where it never functioned. Because then it sounds like, oh yeah, you know, you almost got it working. But, uh, there was just something near the end that stopped you. Hi there, big guy. How you doing? You doing alright there, little big, big boy earth elemental? Waiting for him to move back a little bit so I can just form him. Oh yeah, I'm already feeling the damage increase, baby. Let's go. As opposed to my previous weapon, this one is much better. Ooh, baby. Okay, you can't just spawn multiple earth elementals on me and act like it's a normal game. I'm onto you and your tactics. I know what's going on. I've seen... I've seen the truth game, alright? I'm woke. Alright? What? Can we? No, we shouldn't. I was gonna, I was gonna go on a tirade about, I don't know, Elon Musk and some shit. 
When did woke become an insult is really my main question. I'm just so confused by that. Like, yeah, isn't being woke a good thing? Doesn't that mean you're literally awake? Would, would you prefer to be sleeping? I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you're picking up what I'm putting down. Like, why is that an insult? Isn't, that, isn't being awake a good thing? You want to be asleep? I mean, to be fair, I don't know. I've lived enough life to also feel like I want to be asleep sometimes, so... Amen, brother. I guess you on that part, but like, at the same time... I don't think using woke as an insult is uh, as scathing as you think it is. Anyway, what are, you, what are your guys' crazy predictions for 2023? Mine is that um, Elon Musk stops being a billionaire because he's too stubborn to give up um, Twitter to somebody else and Tesla tanks until they finally just elect a new um, a new CEO and uh, all of his Tesla stock is bought out and then he just becomes, I don't know, irrelevant? Y'all need to stop using Twitter. I don't know why y'all still using Twitter. The only reason he's still relevant is because y'all y'all fucking using Twitter still. You fuckers. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Yes, I never had to use I never used Twitter in my entire life, and therefore it's extremely easy for me to just be like, you guys should stop using Twitter. Because I don't use it at all. So look how easy it is to stop using Twitter, guys. Yes. Yes, how did you know? But also. I don't know. I feel like... Hmm. You see, it's a, it's a tough one because I can't talk shit because I play Overwatch. And I was gonna say, if you support a company that supports, like, a dumbass like Elon Musk, then you are complicit with his actions. But then I realized I am supporting Overwatch and therefore Blizzard, and Blizzard is a fucking shit company. I mean, they've got- okay, here's the copium, fellas. You guys ready for the copium? They've gotten better. Alright. They fired the people who were bad, but that- uh, Does it really mean it's better? Does it really mean it's okay now? I don't know. I don't know. Man, life is so hard. Why can't fucking billionaires just be nice people so we don't have to, like, rack our brains wondering whether or not we should support a company or not, because the billionaire dumbass who owns it is a fucking cunt. Like, why does it have to be this way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Mithril, uh, yeah, there we go. Adamantium or titanium? So we have much less titanium, so we're just gonna use the titanium to make adamantium. And then there we go. A fuck ton of adamantium bar, let's go. And now we can make ourselves an adamantium pickaxe. Um, and we can translate that so or oh, a legendary one even, okay. We can go and fucking mine some cryonic bars, I hope. Maybe cryonic bars are like locked behind you having defeated all three mechanical bosses. It's a distinct possibility, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's possible. I guess we're going to go see now. Oh, there's a desert uh, something here. Hold on, let's go kill it. Where is it? There you are. Oh no, sand elemental. You're destroying me. Whatever shall I do? Oh no, spooky like tornado thingamajiggies. I'm truly terrified. Whatever shall I do? Oh, uh, maybe if I just dodge them. Lol. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go see if we can mine this bitch. Oh! Oh, it's a cryonic fucking dude! It's a cryonic slime! That bodes- that bodes very well, fellas. That bodes extremely well for- what the fuck sound- oh, it's the little, uh, uh, I don't know, pig dude who phases through walls. It's a co it's complicated, alright? Look, it's complicated, and I don't quite understand it. Um, but- but this bodes well? Yes! Cryonic- oh! Oh, hey, it's, uh, Chaos Elementals. I, we've defeated a hundred, that means we're halfway there to a Rod of Discord. Unless one of these some bitches is uh, nice enough to just drop a fucking Rod of Discord for us. I, 
think I've once ever had a natural Rod of Discord spawn. Uh, by which I mean, like, I just naturally got a Rod of Discord. I'm sorry, it's very- the, the mining is very loud. Sir, in the front, can you, uh, can you turn the mining down? It's- it's making it difficult to follow this movie. Sir? Sorry, he's not listening to us. Um, we can just try and talk a little louder, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, that's a terrible joke. Um, I have actually gotten a Rod of Discord, uh, in vanilla. Uh, it's got like a fucking ridiculous drop rate, like 1 in 200 or something like that, of a- of an enemy that's n that's like a rare enemy to start off with. It's not a- it's not a fucking- like, common enemy. Like, I- I could kind of understand doing, like, a 1 in 200 of, like, a slime. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, yeah, okay, then that's- that's actually a pretty good drop rate because you kill so many slimes over the course of your fucking Terraria career. You know what I'm saying? But of a rare enemy, it's- it's a lot. That's why most of the, um... Most of- what is that thing over there? Oh, it's just all. Uh, most of the, like, less grinding mods have something to do with, uh, Rod of Discord. It's just such a pain in the ass to get otherwise. But I actually was lucky enough to get one fairly early in my grinding when I was playing on my, uh, on my main vanilla world way back in the day. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm one of the, the... One of those assholes who comes up to you and is like, Oh yeah, I got a Rod of Discord, like, super easily, actually. I, you know, I only took me, like, two enemies before I got one, and I, uh, Oh, wait, a Rod of Discord is, is difficult to get? I thought it was, like, so easy. I got it, like, immediately. I'm one of the- I'm one of those assholes. Man, don't you hate it when you, like, you've been grinding something for, like, a long time, and then this fucking guy comes in and says, Oh, it's difficult to get. I didn't even realize. I got it so early. Uh, just lucky, I guess. And you're like, yeah, you are fucking lucky, and I want to eat your, I want to eat your butt, so I can like absorb your luck, or something like that. Anyway, wow, we murder things quickly. Let's get this last little bit here, and then let's go home. I think we've done more than enough fucking cryonicking. Uh, area light? No. Palladium? No. It's, uh, eh, cobalt? No. I don't care about any of this besides cryonic. There it is. That's what you'll love to see. We're also going to need all of our essences. Holy fuck, we have 72? Yeah, alright, man. Alright, we get our cryonic bars, and then we go here. Oh, we can get a much better fishing rod, actually. That's a good idea. Uh, Starlight, 180%, 180%, no, it's literally the same. Um, armor. I'm looking for armor. How do you make armor? How do you make Daedalus armor? Oh, God. Mithril anvil, yes. Oh, you need crystal shards. I'm like, hold on a second. I, I swear that is the mithril anvil is exactly where I am. You need crystal shards. So we're going to make an ornate shield and you'll see why in a second. We need a breastplate. Yes. Um, we need the one that has to do with rogue. And then we need the booties. There we go. So first of all, just equip it so you can, you can see the, the spice. Uh, oh, right, you can't see anything. Hold on two seconds. I actually can, I can actually fix this. If we, um, well, firstly, if we fucking do that. If we go to the settings, I think there's a setting mod configuration calamity that makes it so you don't have the, like, darkness anymore. Uh, charge, gameplay... Oh no, maybe uh No, so we can remove that. I don't think that removes that. No. What potion is it that gives us I don't know. I think it might be in a different mod. Maybe this one? 
Alchemist spirit, blah, 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 blah. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, we just had to remove stealth and visibility, and then it removes it. Right. There we go. And then we also can swap out that for that. And you'll see that this, 8% um, increased damage reduction and plus 20 health when wearing Daedalus armor. Which, by the way, gives us uh, max stealth and rogue projectiles throw crystal shards as they travel, which is pretty fucking cool. They give us a lot of a lot of good increases there. You know what? I actually think Amalgamated Brain is probably better than Rogue because not only does it have the damage, but it also has other things attached to it. Uh, we also have Green Feet. I don't really know why. Oh, and I, you'll see I got rid of all the fucking stupid buffs there. The like 20 bajillion buffs that we had. Anyway, it's time to uh, defeat Skeletron Prime, I think. What do you guys think? Oh, is it a nighttime only thing? I keep forgetting. Um, one of y'all motherfuckers probably sells uh, its nighttime now potion. Um, hey, what are you selling, champ? Oh my god, you're selling a lot of stuff. Good, good. You know what? Good for you, bud. Good for you. Teleportation, beach teleport. Is there any. It is nighttime now. Fuck you, potions. What about you, Dryad? Do you perchance sell a fuck you nighttime? It is nighttime now potion. Uh, I don't trust the squirrel. I think the squirrel wants to eat our asses. Ooh, we should see if there's any new potions available. Uh, yeah, what is this Discord? Oh. Yeah, that's a Discord potion. I didn't even know those existed. But, thank you very much, I guess. Um, I would really like to get rid of this, the, the feet thing, but I think that's a, um, dryad, permanent dryad buff thing? I don't know. Look at all of our permanent buffs, fellas. We got a lot of them, is all I'm trying to say. I guess we'll just wait till nighttime, lol. Let us wait patiently, shall we? Um, yeah, so, uh, while I was... <laughs> Waiting for it to be night, I found a thing, um, Cosmolite. I wasn't insane, there is an item that changes day to night and vice versa. Um, I just forgot what its name was, but there we go. Nighttime. Let's fucking fight this guy. I don't know how effective it is going to be using purely stealth strikes on this guy. I feel like... I feel like our best bet is to just fucking spam, because he's just really difficult to fucking even hit in the first place. I guess when he's far away like this, it's a good time to just fucking... There we go. This doesn't seem to be too difficult. I mean, the other uh, mechanical bosses didn't give us too much trouble. I would say, um, what's the name gave us, gave us way more trouble than, uh... The twins gave us way more trouble than the destroyer. That's for damn sure. Oh wow, that was um, a good fucking lag? Question mark? Hold on, I got it. Ah, scratch my face. All right. Hey, we also almost got uh, one of the hands dead. The fucking saw hand. Wow, I'm so proud of us. We're really doing the Lord's work with the saw hand. Like, literally the worst hand. Wait, does everything else start firing faster once you destroy a hand? What, is it actually troll to destroy the saw hand then? I think it might be troll to destroy the saw hand. Um, yeah, because... The saw hand is, like, basically useless. Okay, so you want to destroy the laser hand first, because otherwise you're going to get fucking lasered up the asshole. Good information to know, in case I have to defeat this boss again. I would like to, uh, gain access to your hand, sir. There we go. We're doing some damage to it now, baby. There we go. Okay. Now we just fucking smack him as normal. Oh, he's doing a little spinny spin thing. And then he does a little spiky-haired, I'm a goth boy thing. You ever notice how Skeletron Prime is totally a little goth boy? He's pretending like he's hot shit, but he's actually just a little goth boy. You know what I'm saying? I notice. 
I'd, I'd give Skeletron Prime a chance. Why are you shooting lasers now? That seems a little unfair. That seems a little bullshit. You shouldn't be shooting lasers. Wow, we actually managed to dodge most of those. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do the thing where we fucking actually stealth strike the some bitch. So I'm still fairly certain stealth strikes are just better damage in the end. But I'm also impatient. So maybe... Maybe stealth strikes aren't it for me when I'm an impatient son of a bitch. Um, now I'm just taking a lot of damage for free. Hold on. Pay attention, Smith. Pay attention. Don't get fucking trolled by Skeletron Prime of all things. There we go, my word. Wow, a lot of things. Hallow has been blessed with consecrated stone. The automaton now uh, has new help tips. Skeleton Prime and the jungle grows restless. My word, there we go. We got ourselves a few hallowed bars. Squid's body. I kind of want to put this on. This looks sick. Hold on a second. Uh, we got Soul of Fright, we got Mechanical Battery Piece, but look, we got a little, I don't know, some kind of... We look in some kind of way right now. I don't know what kind of way that is, but it's some kind of way. I'm gonna put all that away. Bam, bam, bam. And there we go, we got all the fucking good shit. We are now... We are now... Hold on, let me close this Cosmolite thing. We are now post... Mechanical bosses, which is a good place to be. We're gonna upgrade our weaponry here with the Grave Grim Reaper. How do I make Cursed Flame? Crimson Altar. Um, cool, I can do that because I have plenty of Ikuar. Um, what else did I need for this? I needed Soul of Fright, right? Fright, right, fright, right, fright, right, fright, right. Um... What was I doing with the Soul of Fright again? This one. Uh, we need a Sickle, we need Bones, Fright, Tombstone. S I don't think we have a Sickle. No. But we have plenty of... Bones! Um, we needed like five of this, right? I don't know, probably about five. And then Sickle, I believe you get from your boy, regular merchant over here. Yes, you... Do. It would help, of course, if you had money. Um, money, for those who don't know, can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> Average uh, educational YouTuber be like, money can be exchanged for goods and services. Okay, wait, what do I need to make this thing? Mithril anvil? What am I missing? Ah, oh, I'm missing a tombstone. I'm fairly certain I have at least one of those. Yep. There we go, we got ourselves a Grave Grim Reaper, which we then need to go and spend money on fucking making cooler. God, I hate the... Literally the only part of Terraria that I dislike, and I like so much of Terraria. The only part of Terraria I dislike is, um... Reforging. Godly is good enough for me. So this does 115, but this is a uh, faster use, right? Or it has like more cool things going for it. My god, it just goes on forever as well. That's actually kind of useful. So this is an upgrade. So we're going to put our other thing back. We don't need that anymore. Um, we can also get a whole bunch of things now. So what we want to do is we want to get electrician's gloves. Electrician's gloves. Um, which we need a hundred wire and mithril type thing, and then bloodstained gloves, which I have. Um, mithril and wire, which we need to go and buy. Do I still have my money? Yeah, nice. Where's the, uh, not the steampunker. Who's the one who sells the wire? You. Sophia. Give me, like, a ton of wire, please. Sure, that's good. Thank you. 
I don't know where you make one of these. There we go. Electrician's gloves, because look at this. Stealth strike summons sparks, and they have 10, uh, 10 armor pen, plus 8% damage, and heal for 2 damage. So that's fucking cool. So we love that. Very good. So that's one part of the of the of the beautiful pie we have going on for ourselves here. Then we want the ruin medallion, which I believe we need to go. Yeah, we're gonna have to go and kill unholy core. How do you even get an unholy core again? I believe it's yes, charred ore, which means we need to go kill the brimstone elemental. Brimstone Elemental, right there. So, how does one summon such an elemental? We need the Charred Idol. Um, goes great with uh, most uh, food. Wait, to get a Charred Idol, you need an Unholy Core? Can we just... Can we just break... Hold on, can we just break Charred Ore with uh, what we got? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to make ourselves a proper... Uh, pickaxe, hold on, hold on, hold on. Soul, so we need sight, fright, and might. And then we need those hallowed bars. Very good. Put that all together and we can make ourselves an actual fucking... Uh, yeah, Drax, I guess. Yeah, Drax is cool. We make ourselves a Drax. Put all this other shit back. So now the Drax should be able to break through. Let's see. Oh, we actually need, you know what, now that we have the um, Grave Reaper, we need to change out our flask, because this inflicts Cursed Flames anyway, and we're currently using the, the Cursed Flames flask, so yeah, we're gonna need to change that at some point. Anyway, let's go to the Brimstone Crag, shall we? Oh, okay, we're here, we're here, we're here. Um, so, uh, here's some charred ore down here, actually. Let's, let's try and find ourselves some charred ore that's a little bit more accessible, shall we? Um, I guess this is technically more accessible. Yep, you can mine it now. That's pretty fucking cool. Okay, I thought, I don't know why. Jesus Christ, we are fucking the map. I thought you had to have defeated the brimstone elemental before you could, uh... Start mining charred ore, but I guess I'm wrong, which is probably a good thing. But also, um, anyone with half a brain could see me being wrong coming. Get it, fellas? All right, we're gonna get all of this over here, and then we're gonna get out of here. There we go. And uh, we now have a fuck ton of charred ore, a fuck ton of hellstone. Put that shit together. And you get unholy cores. How many did we need for the ruined medallion? Uh, we need four. So we make four, three, four. Very good. And then we combine that with our coin of deceit and chaos. Essence of chaos. And there you have it. A ruined medallion. Fan fucking tastic. Okay. Um, is that all of the. Yeah, that's basically all we, all we need right now. So we swap out some of the stuff. Maybe the amalgamated brain. And then, I don't know, we, we will um, we will consolidate a lot of these probably before the next episode um, into more concise little fucking accessories. But yeah, that was just a little bit of a house cleaning episode, I guess. And also, you know, killing multiple bosses. But don't worry about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. And bye.